Hello everyone, today we're going to compare a POCO launcher that comes with the phone with Nova Launcher Prime in 2024 and let's see which one's better. Uh, let's go through the POCO launcher first. Uh, POCO launcher comes with the phone and it has a great deal of amazing features that you probably wouldn't find in any other Android device. Uh, it's fluid and snappy and I've been using this POCO X3 Pro for the past three years and it has never malfunctioned on me. So I would say it's uh, pretty reliable as well. Um, I will go over a couple of features of this launcher. I won't go over everything because that's not what the video is about. Um, so let's discuss the sidebar first. Sidebar is one of the best features of this launcher. You can enable it from the settings menu and when you do, you will see this white bar on the side. You can move it up and down or maybe even to either side. I prefer it on the left side. And from this app, you can access any of your favorite apps. And uh, apps that you choose to open from this menu open up as an overlay. So it's great for multitasking. So for example, if you're watching a video on YouTube and you want to do some calculation on the side, so you can open up the calculator, quickly do your thing without having to leave the app. So you can you could, you could be doing anything, but this is gonna open up as an overlay. So you can even maximize it too, just like that. Or you could, uh, if you swipe up, you can dismiss or close the app. Or you could even like pin it on the side. Let's say if you if you're if you want to get back to it in a second, so you can just uh, push it here to the corner, and then it'll stay there uh, for you to use again. And you can move it to either side. And if you want to get back to it, you can just uh, click on it, and uh, it'll pop right back up. So it's great for multitasking. Uh, that's why I love this feature. So you can even customize uh, the sidebar. So if I open it up here, so the notes, I have my apps, favorite apps here. So I can click on the plus icon at the bottom here and it'll open up a menu where you can choose to add whichever app you want on it. So this is, um, I have my favorite tab on the favorite apps on the left side, but this is, uh, you can do a lot with this. So this is one of the best features uh, of the POCO launcher in my opinion. The second feature I wanted to talk about was uh, quick balls. I don't have it enabled yet so let's uh, go ahead and enable it now. So I'll go into the settings menu, go in additional settings and uh, quick ball is right here so I will enable it now and as you can see uh, it opens up uh, a ball, uh, a quick ball basically on your screen. So if you click on that, you can see uh, it opens up an overlay where you can access your favorite app. So it's another uh, great feature. So quickly you can access anything you want. You can customize it however you want. Uh, so this is another feature I wanted to point out. Um, so Poco Launcher offers a great deal of amazing features. Uh, and it's, I believe it's one of the great best uh, launchers of, uh, uh, that you'll find in any Android device. And uh, uh, I guess Xiaomi has uh, uh, made it better, I guess, with Hyper OS. I don't have that as of yet, uh, but let's have a look at the Nova launcher now. Now let's have a quick look at uh, the Nova launcher. So uh, I'm gonna switch uh, the default launcher to Nova launcher. Let's go in settings and uh, make that change. So I'll go in default launcher. So for Poco launcher, I'll change it to Nova 7. Uh, the only thing, the first thing that you'll notice is that if you're using gestures, you're gonna get these buttons back because gestures don't work on Nova Launcher. So, uh, and also with Nova Launcher, uh, the Google Now page that I had on the left side, uh, that's not gonna be there anymore. Uh, but a couple of great features that I'd like to mention um, for Nova Launcher. Uh, so one is uh, the search bar. So if I hold uh, the, uh, the menu button here, or 
if I double tap on the screen like that you can customize it however you want but you can search for any app that you have or you could even do a Google search just by double tapping on the screen and I was um, I used to have an iPhone so I was fascinated with uh, the spotlight search that they have you can just like pull down the menu and it, and then you can um, do a search like that but I wanted something similar for Android and that's why uh, I got the Nova launcher it has of course uh, a great many amazing features uh, which I won't get into um, you can change gestures to do whatever uh, but double tap see right here like I, I said this uh, double tap to Nova search so uh, you can change customize the home screen the app drawer you can add folders a uh, look and feel you can change the icons uh, I have the Nova launcher prime so you can pretty much do anything you want to it but the main the best feature I would say uh, for Nova launcher is uh, the search that you can it's it's kind of like spotlight uh, not exactly the same thing but it's just as uh, just as easy right so you can just double tap on the screen a uh, search will open up you can search whatever you want uh, it'll also search in your contacts too so if you wanted to let's say send someone a message you can just type in their name and it'll come up here and you can send them a message so uh, Nova launcher is amazing but if you're used to using gestures uh, then this is not the launcher for you because gestures do not work on Nova launcher because it's locked uh, by the Poco launcher locked by the system essentially so uh, gestures only work with the Poco launcher on this so um, if you like this video so uh, like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching